Certainly is a nice night. Oh, man. Just been enjoying the meme view and stars. But... Oh, let me get my flashlight on. I want to know about that clock tower. And what that is. We found two pages. And the tower rotation is pointing at the gears. So... Oh, maybe I missed... Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, okay, and yeah, that thing's got a gear, so I think that that thing is somehow related to those gears over there. Let's go upstairs and see what we find. At least it's bright enough in here, I don't need a flashlight. climbing these ladders. Alright. Just want to see what, if it's rotating when we go down, right? Yeah, it's... Oh, it is. Okay. Interesting. I guess that means set the clock to 240. But what does the 221 mean? All right. Little hand is our big hand is everything else. So 1 2 10 15 20 25 30 35 40. Whoa! Holy cow, look at that. Let's make sure not to trip. Oh, another marker switch, okay. Oh. Hello. Well, 221, I guess top to bottom 221. Is the thing. So, what happens when I pull this lever? Okay, it keeps going. In the middle only. Um. Oh, then it stops. Okay. Stealing what? Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Purple 
purple elf? Oh, hi. Cool. I... Occasionally I can get text messages from people like they show up on my phone, but nobody's, um... Not many people have been talking to me. I've been kind of just doing this whole thing myself. I don't know how it works. I've been I've been stuck here for like a couple days now. And uh you're one of the few people that has actually said anything. I've been trying to record this and and I guess people can see what's going on. That's good. Um, I just found this thing, and I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, how to use it. Two. Oh, okay, that does that side. Um, two, two, one. Okay. If I do this, and then hold it, it'll rotate again. And again. Whoa, hey. Oh, whoa. Look at that. That is... that is something else. I guess that means... Oh, okay. A rite of passage, you say. Huh. I wonder if that means that that other big gear thing opened up? Let's go find out. Oh my goodness, it did. Um, okay. Just hop up these stairs real quick. Another book. Okay, well. Oh, that's weird. I don't think I read about this place. I need to go read the book about this place before I go there. I don't want to stumble into it unawares. Back to the library really quick and read that. Careful not trip. Hup, hup. Okay, which book was this? This was the... I think it's this one? Yeah, here we go. Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures, and it was. The sky here is dark and gray, and increasingly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through very many things in this strange world, and I have learned many things from him. He has told me an in interesting story of this world's history. Years ago, he told me, there was a beautiful city that rose up out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and the people had everything they wished for. The city was surrounded by three high hills, which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people of the city had constructed the post, expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for friend or foe. As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usually sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The, lookout's post attempt, the lookout post's attempts at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. After the foundations of the city were destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ships sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive through the attack. In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the destruction they had started so long ago. 
I have decided, since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable to save this civilization and stop this enemy's plan of destruction. I am excited about the adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the needed defense for these people. My sons have been spending much of their spare time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I am very pleased with their intelligence, and their creativity is refreshing to see as they work on some small projects of their own. Kind of a weird staircase heat vent thing? Okay. It has been over four months now, and construction is going well. My sons love the world except for its gray sky. They detest the gray sky, and tell me many times they wish the sky were like the blue sky in mist. The old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we will be ready when the time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. I have to go again for now. Don't be scared, but choose wisely whom you trust. Oh, thank you, and hopefully we talk again soon. Thank you. It has been six months of work, and we have finally finished the fortress. It rests between the three hills, which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experienced after the attack. Inside the fortress, I have designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. I began experimenting with in my visits to Aspermere. Aspermere? Aspermere? Aspermere. It will be working in a couple of days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn how to use the fortress. So there's a lever for power, and there's a lever for track slope, and it looks like it has little stops at west, north, east, and south. W -N -E yeah, kind of what it looks like. The enemy is due to come soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. Oh, wow, look. So I guess this is, this is the fortress, and this is the track... That was described in the previous... Yeah, track slope, right? And then nothing to the south, north, east, southwest. Okay. The black ships have come. Their attack was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped, and it appears that they have turned away in defeat. I could not help but smile as I watched the boats leave. This is the insignia... Oh. I've seen this flag. I saw this flag in either Cirrus or Akinar's room on Stone Ship. It was in one of the drawers. I think that was Cirrus's room. Were they? Oh, that's disturbing. Last night we had a small celebration and the old survivors danced their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. I assured my sons that a blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to hear me. I've had a healthy adventure and have begun to work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe I have begun. But first, I will have an extended time with Catherine, whom I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the Tide. I believe in my travels I have found a substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that they have long endured. I hope to return to the Mechanical Age one day and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. Though the sky may always be black, I'm confident the people here feel a heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. Well. I am not sure what to make of this, but as the dawn comes, it's time for us to head out to someplace new. Just want to make sure I don't trip. Up the steps. Up, 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 up. Okay. Away we go. Ooh. Oh, that's still never going to get used to that. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa. Wow. It's pretty bright here. What's this? Uh, buttons. More buttons. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Is there anything back here? Hmm. 
No, just water. Vast, endless water and gears. Lots and lots of gears. And then let's see what we have to see. Yeah, you can see the, the track wheels there. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, it's the... This is from Mist. There's the ship. And that looks kind of like the rocket ship thing. And there's the, um, the clock on Mist. The time is set to... 3.35? Maybe I have to try that later. What are these? Oh, okay. They just light up. Hmm. Uh, nothing to really see there. Very opulent. Chess? Oh. It's like a music box. Somebody really likes their throne. I'm very comfortable though. Hello, what are you? I'm just wanting this, I guess. Okay, that's a cute little bobble. It's got like Art on the wings. Child's toy. Hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, it's like the center of the whole thing. It's locked, though. Can't really do anything there right now. Um, I don't really want to push any buttons yet. I think I want to make sure that I have an idea of where I am first. Whoa. Hey, that looks familiar. That looks like it's from Channelwood. It's kind of a weird throne thing. Oh. Swords and other things. Very strange. That seat is comfier than the other one. It has a cushion, but it's strange. What's this? Um, simulation simulator. Rotation simulator. Calibrating. Okay. That doesn't really seem to do anything. Um, oh, okay. Whoosh. Whoosh. Whoosh, okay. Oh, I can only do one when the other is powered, okay. Dink. Whoosh dink. All right. Yeah, good enough. Whoosh dink whir. I should probably write these down. Um, I'm guessing this is oriented north, so... Whoosh is east. North is dink. West is whir. And I guess we'll find out what south is in a moment. Um, <laughs> dong. Like a kind of a dong. Donk? Donk? More of a donk? That sounds strange saying that. Okay, so whoosh. Whoosh. Dink. Were donk. 
sure. What's this? Oh, whoa, hello. Um, whoa. Holy cow, oh my gosh. That's like a headman's block. Poison? Oh, a page. Um, yeah, I might as well take it. Scary things abound. What is this? Whoa! Okay, that's, that's hot. That's electrically hot. We're not gonna touch that again, because I might... Oh man, probably fried people in there or something. Oh, that's gross. I, I don't even want to look at that. That's just disgusting. No, thank you. Well, if there's a... If there's a door there, does that stand to reason that there's also a hidden one over here? Um... Oh, yeah, hello. Wine and... what's this? Cirrus. Your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is... never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Akinar. Wow, that's the first... thing we've seen written about either of them, that the other one hasn't touched, aside from that video message thing that we saw while we were in, um, while we were in Channelwood. Huh. And lots and lots of gold in there. Yeah, there's the red page. I'm gonna leave that for now, I think. So Cirrus is greedy, as is apparent by all of this gold all over the place. Okay. Let's see what happens if, uh, okay, I click the button. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool looking. Um. Whoa, too far. Three, two, one, there. Did that do something? Oh, there's a door, okay. All right, let's see what we can see. Um, up? Hey, there's something up there. Like, on top. Hmm. Oh, this is cool. I guess these are the gears that run the whole thing? But how do I... I can't reach that, and this is... <laughs> it's too slippery to grab onto. Okay. What does this do? Well, it only took me part way down. Oh, maybe, okay. Maybe if I, if I go back up and then click this and get out? Yeah, hey, there we go. But what does this do? Oh, no. No, no. 
Okay, maybe I pushed the button when I didn't want to. Um. Yeah, thank you. I think I've, I think I figured it out. All right, let's try this again. This one enables the thing, and this one turns the thing. Wish. Wish. So we we should be pointing in a different direction now then. If this is what it says it's supposed to be doing. Alright, well let's go look outside. Uh, jog a little bit here to get faster and I don't think I want to go through that other guy's room because it's creepy. Oh, hey, is there anything I can... Oh, yeah! See, we have a different view outside. That's something. Hmm, okay. Pew. So we should be on the... That's where I was. This should be facing east, okay. I think. Oh, mind my step here. Symbols. Oh, those are probably for the... Okay, let me let me write these down so I don't forget. Um, little sun with three mountains. And a half circle facing left. Shaded in. All right. Back we go. Let's, um... Oh, does that mean that's north? Because that's uh, the way it was pointing, so that must be north. So if we're facing east, that means we started on the south, we're now east, so I just need to go one more north. Alright, back we go then. Not doing creepy guys room. Thank you very much. I'm good. Alright. I think I have to go all the way up first, then press the button again to get out. There we go. Okay, um, power it on, rotate. Okay, that should be good. Let's see what happens. Dink. Yeah, so now I should be facing north. Just get some water really quick. Mm. It's a good thing that there's that there's that fountain on Mist Island that has fresh water in it. All right, back down. Back this way. Oh yeah, see? Now I can see that the... Nothing really there to see, but that's... That's, yeah, that's where I was facing. Okay. And... Hey, hey there we go. Just watch my step here. I wonder if I can see the side of the... I guess not. Not from here, anyway. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna write this down, too. That is a sort of circular thing with an opening at the bottom and a down arrow, a block rectangle, and an up arrow. Okay, I think I got that. Moseying along. Hey, whoa, hey, look, look at that. It was like a, a ship? Didn't see that before. It's like a ship way out there. Wow. Which side... So, the... Hmm. I wonder if I can get it so that that telescope can see the ship. 
Let's try rotating it. Because right now the telescope is looking that direction. Okay. Let's rotate it one more time. And then press this button and get out of here. Beep de beep. Okay. And then... Oh, yeah. Uh, turn on power. Rotate. Stop rotation. Turn off power. And then the whir sound. So we're facing west. That's good. And we go down. And um, I want to see if we see something different. Yeah, because now we're facing the, the thing I was just at, so maybe we can see something past it. Whoa! Holy cow. Hey, those are the flags from the book. And like, yeah, wow. Somebody didn't have a good day. Oh, man. I guess those... those black flagged ships are no longer a problem for these people. Oh, then this is just... yeah, onto the middle of nothing. I would totally go swimming, but I did not bring a bathing suit. Woe to me. The black flagged ship, and the flag was in somebody's room. In... Stone ship. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. Rotate this one last time. And, okay, good, good, good. Safe to go. Alright. Last rotation. I think. One, two, three, four. And hopefully that's enough. Donk. So now we're facing south, which is where we originally started. Okay. I think that is fine. And we can make our way back and put one more page into each of their books. Because I think I want to hear what both of them have to say still. Even though... Akinar, I'm guessing this is Akinar's room because his page was here, is creepy as Gat. Don't like it, although you could do some cool ring-ups with these, I guess, if I wanted to work out. But I'm not really going to hang out in there because it has a weird stench that I don't like. And yeah, can I see it from this angle? Oh yeah, you see there, I can kind of see the track. Okay. Well, let's see. I need to do... Uh, upside down that. Uh, that. Floating over the rocks like that. And then, I think that, that should do it. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, great. All right, oh, watch my head. Back to mist, as always. Hold your breath, here we go again. Ugh, okay. All right, blue book boy. Here you go. Hey, I got you another page. Hi, my friend. <laughs> you I see. Hmm? Convinced the Cirrus is guilty. Pray, do not release him. Don't release Cirrus, huh? Will destroy me. Just to see him. Innocent bystander. I've been wrongfully tricked into imprisonment. Didn't 
you have observed is unbridled lust for riches! Um, yeah, but you seem to have some anger management problems, dude. In the four remaining worlds. <laughs> you some plot. It was almost perfect! Final blow to father. You tricked him into believing that it was I who was the murderer. I didn't murder father. <laughs> Didn't murder father. Please. A liar. Well, in a liar. Must not be free. The remaining blue pages from the last age of mist. I must be free. You must free me. Really? I must? I cannot bear it here for eternity. Oh man, I don't know if I want to meet that guy face to face. He's all kind of whack. Well, let's go back and get the other page. All right, whoa, yeah, quite a bit of time has passed. See, time doesn't seem to be linear between this place and the other. Like, I was only there for a little while and the sun full-on rose from the horizon like it's a few hours later. I wonder how much time has passed back on... Hmm. Well, let's go get the other page and see what his equally interesting brother has to say. Alright. Alright, let's have it. Up, 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 do, 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 do. All right, jogging along. Left side. It's really narrow. All right, I think it was yeah, right here. And there is the page. Can I open any of? No. Okay. All just riches. That wine. Okay. Let's head back. Oof. At least there's a nice breeze. Oh, watch my head. Too tall for this. Oh, man. Why can't it just, like, lying on the floor every time? Okay. Cirrus, what say you? With each page I can see more clearly. Soon, be free from this horrible prison, this book. You must visit the one remaining age. You have not confident in that. Guilty. Yeah, and you're smooth tongued. Took advantage of the freedom our father had given us. I cannot begin to. I ask you again. Do not retreat with the blue pages. Oh, sorry, I already kind of did. He will destroy both myself and you, just as he destroyed the other ages of the mist. That was shifty eyed. Never will escape. You must simply bring the red. Tell the story that I your wisdom. See that I am innocent and he is guilty. Whoa. Getting a little tweaked there, dude. This is forgotten island long ago. I will owe you my life, and you will be greatly rewarded. 
Well, I could just take the gold for myself right now. What would you possibly give me that I couldn't just take already my own? Yeah, you're a creeper too, dude. I don't really like it. Hmm. Well, the plot thickens. So I've been here. I've been here. And I've been here. Where else could I possibly... Well, let's see what it does. There, there. Oh, the ship. Okay, well, let's rotate it there then. Okay. I guess it's time to go find out. Back upstairs. Definitely... Yeah, it definitely rotates. Okay. Whoa. It's a really long rotation. Oh, it probably rotates to orient itself to wherever... Okay, that actually makes sense, because I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't rotate, and other times it does. And that's probably because the tower, it's, it's rotating to where the elevator is lined up with the actual top of the tower. That makes way more sense now. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, there's the ship. Okay. It, uh, What's up here? Oh, 59 volts. Okay. Down 59 volts. I'm not an electrician, so I hope they don't ask me to actually, like, convert anything. Alright. It's kind of off the track. Hmm. Down we go. There's a long rotation because we have to reorient completely with that. Okay, that makes sense. Very smartly architected. Alright. Okay, and outside. Okay, um... So the ship, 59 volts. Okay. Watch my head. That's, okay, that's got power, but... It's, nothing's happening. I guess I need to turn the power on. Let's follow the power cables. Alright, it goes there. There's like a lever on that thing. And it goes over here. Another lever. And it then goes underground? Okay. Down we go. Okay, I'm just gonna watch my step here. Push button everything. Alright. Power, power to ship and generator switches. Alright. 10 volts. 1 volt, 7, so that'd be 18, 20, 28, uh, 50, that'd be too much, 16, 19, uh, I should probably be writing these down, okay, hold on, let's figure this out. That one is nine. That one is five. Whoops. Get this out of the way. Okay, this one is 16. This one is 19. This one is 22. This one is eight. Seven. Two, 
one, and I believe the first one was five. I don't know, ten. All right. So if I add ten, twenty-two, and sixteen, that is twenty, thirty, forty, six, eight, and I wanted to hit fifty-nine. Yeah, 59. So that's 48. 48 plus... Um, Forty-eight plus eight. Eight plus eight is sixteen, and so that's fifty-six. And then two and one, seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Okay, let's try that. So ten. I think this one is twenty-two. It's thirty-two. Sixteen should be over here. And then eight is right here. Fifty-six. 758 and 59. Okay, there we go. That wasn't awful. All right. I don't think I read the book about this place though. I should probably go find that really quick before I do anything else wrong. Um, You know what, actually I'm really curious. I wanna see what's in here. Watch my head. Hey, hey, we have uh, entrance. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a, okay. There's like an organ piano thing. Huh. Okay, I can play the organ. What about this? Oh, no. It's probably some key I need to look for somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find that here right now. Very conveniently automatically closing doors. Alright. I am going to guess that that is this book. It has been a while since I have heard only science and I enjoy it greatly. I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north, hotter than I would have imagined. It almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling. And I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. Oh, hello, Zordon. Uh... I have had to return home due to a unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky and I immediately left in fear for, of my life. I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return in case one of in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I slept my first where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind I remember has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. That magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. 
I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like a desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Excuse me. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through the ears, through my ears, and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. How oh, very humble this person, apparently. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head into a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack, and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, that I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Oh yeah, he's got like a little diagram with uh, collect the heat and the radiant chasm, and somehow run some sort of a, um, like, turbine thing. Okay. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened a up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created, and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Akinhar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools that I will need for my plans to explore the underground. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials, however, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set, and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. And then it kind of fades off. I began on the bridge, and although the... Mm -hmm, the magnetic idea will work well, and I've decided to... Okay, so it's like a rotary thing. Three meters is not enough to support... Is not enough support for the beams, although it's some... Mm, amazingly strong. And there's a viewing dome, a hatch, a stabilizer, and an intake of some type here. Has to be one of my most prized inventions. I am extremely... I could never have imagined it to come together quite as... I doubt possibly work with 14 instead of 8. Completely fatigued, I'm so happy to have completed, and tomorrow. I am leaving today in order to bring Cirrus and Akinar. I have left them alone in Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteors set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust, but the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon, but for now I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. And there's the keyboard. Okay, great. Let me take a um, picture with my phone here, so I can see this easily without having to go back and forth. Alright, good. And let's rotate that picture so I can easily look at it. Um, yeah, there we go. There, that's good. Okay. Oh, wow, look. That must be the lake and the chasm thing. Okay, that's all there is. Well, uh... Salentic Age. Okay. I guess we have to enter those notes into the piano. In order to... Go there? Knock, knock. Alright, this is a... Let me see. 
this is an A? No, 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 all the way down here. Oh no, two, two, no, I have to do them in order. I wish I had studied piano more. All right. Okay, I think I can do that. Um, no, oh, come on. All right. Is that a full octave above the previous one? It is. Okay, so it'll be eight notes above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that doesn't seem right. Oh, it's not. That's because I'm not counting the, the half notes. Whoa, no, what are you doing? There we go. That should be three notes above that one. Okay, and... then two notes below this one. I think that sounds right. Let's let's give it a try. Oh, whoa, okay. Um the book is on the screen. How am I supposed to interact with the whoa? This is something else. Look at that. All right, in we go. Good thing I've uh, got my water. Oof, whoa, it's hot here. Um, I'm gonna drink some water before I head out into that sun. That's better. Okay. Uh, it's, wow, it's just all kinds of funky hot. Ugh. Uh, more buttons. Oh man, it's all gonna be sound stuff, isn't it? Because of the, yeah. Yeah, it probably is. Knowing my luck. All right. Can I, no, okay. Hey, here's the little, like, this must be the patch of grass that was talked about in that book. Okay, oh. Another page already, okay, well. Um, I guess turn that on, sure. There's the dish that was also in the book. Like, fresh water? i refill my water bottle from there later if I need to. Yeah, I might as well take this one, I found it already. 
Oops, hello. Wow, you can like... Okay. Well, I guess I have to take the stairs back. Don't want to trip on myself. What is that sound? It's like a kind of roaring hum. Watch my step. Okay. Oh wow, it's hot. Whew. Oh, there's like an active magma vent or something. All right, sure. I guess that's what um what powers everything is he's using steam from the hot yeah okay oh wow look at that thing There's like radar dishes all over it oh, look another mist clock oh I forgot to try that time um strange very strange I have no clue what turning these things on is going to do. Is there anything back here? Not really, no. Okay. Onward we go. Oh, hey, okay. Something over here. Oh hey, there's the the red. Cirrus's page. Sure, we'll turn that on too. Why not? These crystals are huge. Somebody I know might say that they were bigly crystals or something like that, but yeah, they're pretty big. The bigliest of crystals. That must be the lake. Okay. How do I... I don't want to swim. Oh, okay. Here, maybe this... Oh, there was a... Bridge or something? It looks like it was something at one point. Oh, whoa, hello. Bats. I wonder what that used to be. Okay, well, down we go. That's a lot of ladders. Okay, whew. Oh, it's dark. Hello, bats. It's okay. Oh, wait, is this light? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, some light, good. Hello, friends, whoa, careful. Please don't get in my face. Okay, does that turn it back off? Okay, it's just, it's like a connected light switch. One of them will only ever be correct. Alright, what's this thing about? Oh. Okay. Whoop, no, that's... Um, hmm. What does this do? This rotates. Okay, can't really see anything. Oh, hello. Huh. Oh, hey! Yeah, I guess I landed up with the sound? That seems to be perfectly clear to me. It's not flashing. Yeah, okay, so 133.1. Okay, so I guess I have to line these up with the sound that it's coming from. A little more. There. 115. 133. What's next? The clock. I think that'll be right here. No. 
a little farther this way maybe. There we go. Uh, right about there. 052.1. I don't know where this one is pointing. Is that it right there? Okay, cool. 015.8 and um hmm. no 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 whoa oh here we go okay go back a little bit please okay I line them up do I just, I guess I press this button? Flute, water, wind, roar, tick. Okay, flute, water, uh, oh, I don't remember what the next one was. Flute, water, wind, Roar. Tick. Okay, I'm guessing that that's going to work against that that thing back where I was, so let's take a look. And yeah, it did rotate them. Okay. Yeah, the, the things did rotate. Hmm. Alright. Hi, friendly bats. Let's just get through here. All right, up we go. Okay. Oh man, it's hot here. Whew. All right, um. Oh, there's the door. Okay. Okay, I wrote down flute. Water. That sounds like water, right? I think that sounds like water. Okay. Uh, wind. Sounds kind of like wind. Roar. Kind of like roar and then tick like the clock. Okay, let's see if it works. Hey, there we go. All right. Thanks, little thing, for opening. What's in here? Okay. Oh, I'm getting dark. At least it's a bit cooler down here. Hear that hissing sound. Well, when there's a button. Whoa. Look at that thing. That's huge. Wow. Okay. I guess I'm headed in there. Oh, hello. Okay. Can I see out the back? I can. Um... Alright, this is kinda comfy. Forward, backtrack, facing southeast, left and right. Um. Hmm. All right, well, here we go. Oh wow, we're sinking fast. We're sinking really fast. 
Holy cow, we're going deep. I can't see anything. Dink. What the heck? Um... Dink and North line up like it did from that other place, so maybe that's, um, that's where I'm supposed to go? Hmm. I think I'm gonna take a breather here. Before we delve into all of this and get completely lost. Who knows how long I'm gonna end up stuck down there. But if we can get through this, I think we can get through this. I just don't think I want to do this right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a breather. And just take a break and drink some water. And maybe come back to this. I, I think I'm just going to take a break. Wow. That's a little under overwhelming. Well, I've got a page. So, we'll see what happens. If I can make it through this. At least, at least the sound seems to correspond to a direction, so that, that should be a good start. Oof. 